Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be walking you through your duet and group scenes day number three assignment. I'm going to be sharing my screen with you all so that you can follow along um, with the assignment as I am going through it. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, when you open up your form, you're going to see that we are still working on TEKS 1F and 2C. TEK 1F, which is to explore and evaluate the structure and form of dramatic literature. So that's looking at your duet and group scenes. And then 2C, which is to create characters, dialogue, and actions that reflect dramatic structure in improvised and scripted scenes individually and collaboratively. Collaboratively, sorry, I cannot talk today. Um, basically what that means is that's big fancy words to say that we're gonna be studying scripts and we're going to be learning how to use the script as a tool to create a character using the script, our imagination, our voice and our body. And so this week we've been looking at what are the characteristics or what are the elements that make a duet scene good or interesting or entertaining to watch. And so we are practicing looking at each of those four elements. And so we're gonna continue with that today. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start out by filling in your personal details, your name, your theater class period, and your Southwest ISD school email address. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit next. We have our warm up page here. We have our five minute timer for stretching. We have our stretching chart. And then we have our area where you're going to mark your stretches. Remember, um, you can use the timer to keep track of your stretches. If you want to have the music on, you can do that. You can mute it as well. But what you should be doing is you should be using that timer in order to keep track of your stretch. Remember, even if you're just sitting at your desk or at a table or something, you can still stretch in your seat. And so the way that you can do that, um, put one leg over your knee and then lean forward and stretch down towards your toes. You can switch legs and do that on the other side as well. You can do some neck rotations or neck rolls on both sides. You can roll your shoulders, just loosen up those muscles in your body, especially, you know, I don't know when you might be doing this assignment, but you've probably been sitting for a little while working on your schoolwork or other assignments. And so, you know, it's good to continue to get the body moving just a little bit. You can do some arm rotations, big or little, some arm stretches, even, you know, reaching all the way to the top. If you lean back, if you sit up in your chair and lean back, that feels really nice. It's a really good stretch for your back. And then you can go ahead and mark some stretches that you did. Um, I'm going to mark off the ones that we usually do in class. You can also have the option to write in the stretches you did. So these are some of the ones that we did while sitting. We stretched our arms, our neck, and our shoulders. And so that's something you can write down as well. And then we're gonna move on to a brief um, facial stretch. So you're going to deep breathe. We're gonna inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four. Let me show you what that looks like. Inhale. Oh wait, I didn't do it right. Hold on, <laughs> let me count again. Inhale for four. So what I did was I inhaled for four counts, held my breath for four, and then exhaled for four. And so do that a couple of times to get that deep breathing going. The next thing to do would be your jaw massage. You're gonna follow this line in your jaw. You're gonna move from your ears all the way to the front towards your chin. Work in small circles and gently massage. Right now I look silly. Big face and little, big, 
and little. And then stretching your tongue outside your mouth, nose, chin, side to side, nose, chin, side, side, nose, chin, side, and side. Very good. You can go ahead and mark off those stretches that we just did. And then our last thing that you'll do for your warm up is some, say some tongue twisters and then write down the names of the ones you said. So I'm gonna do a couple. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Unique New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. Russian wristwatch, Russian wristwatch, Russian wristwatch. Very good. You can pick any of the ones on the slides or any tongue twisters that you might know yourself and then write the names of them in the box. Um, we did a toy boat and very good. So you just write down three that you did. And now we're gonna move on into our daily activities portion. So on our daily activities portion, um, we wanna remember we're looking at the elements of successful duet performance. We've been looking at four different things, believable characters, script analysis, character motivation, and stage directions. In your assignment yesterday, you worked on stage directions. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on script analysis. So script analysis is essentially when you read your script closely and scan it, um, really analyze it, really uh, pay close attention to it, and really look for clues or information about your character. And so again, we have here, this is the process for script analysis. Step one is to read the script. Step two is to break it up into small sections. Step three is to identify actions. So that's the things your character does and their motivations. What makes them, what do they want? What's their goal? What makes them do what they're doing? And so here's what we're gonna do today. We have two activities. The first thing is we're gonna write down the different clues that come from script analysis. When you pay close attention to your script, you will be able to figure out things about your character such as how they are feeling, their emotions, how you should move on stage, and also some clues about who your character is as a person. What's their personality? What's their background? What happened to them before the play? What's gonna to happen to them after the play? It's all these little details that are going to eventually help make your performance stronger and more realistic, more believable. And so again, the clues that we learn from script analysis are going to be emotions or character emotions, movement and background slash personality. And so what we're going to do today is we're gonna be looking at an example of a script um, so that you can practice looking for these clues. And so what you're gonna do is when you click on the link provided right here, it's gonna bring you to this screen that says, would you like to make a copy of script analysis practice? You're going to click the blue button to make a copy. Once you do, you will end up on a uh, Google Slides that looks like this. It'll be your copy. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add your name to it. The next thing you're going to do is you'll check off that you made your copy and that you added your name. And what you're going to do is so that you just have it ready to go, even though you're not done, you're gonna add file. You're gonna click my drive. And you are going to attach your copy that you just made. Yours should be right about here. It should come up right away for you. I have a bunch of, um, you know, folders and stuff because I'm a crazy teacher, but yours should come up pretty quick. You'll select it and it's already ready to go and you'll leave it, you'll leave it there. And so what you'll do now it's time to work on the assignment. So what you're gonna do is 
This should be in a different order. By the time y'all get this, it'll be fixed. I'm sorry. Here we go. So when you get your assignment, it's going to look like this. It'll have the name of the assignment. The next slide is going to say, what information can you find in the script? And so here are the instructions. What you're going to do first is you're going to read this script. It's not the full script. It is just a one page deal. And so what you're going to do is you are going to, you can use the zoom tool if you want, click it once and then undo the magnifier. And then you can adjust kind of where it is on the page so you can see it a bit better. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna read the whole entire script. So you're gonna take some time to read this one page. Read, I would recommend to you all that you read the chart at the top. And then you're going to read the two columns. So you're going to start here on this side. You're going to read the whole column down this way. And then you're going to read down the second column. Once you're done reading, what you're going to do is you're going to put a box around all the stage directions that you see. So in this script, the stage directions look like this. Dialogue has the name of the character and then the words next to it. Stage directions are the lines or the sentences that are completely by themselves. And do you see how they're kind of slanted? That's a stage direction. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put a box around all the stage directions that you find. And so what you're going to do first is you're going to click the box. You're going to hit control and C on your keyboard. And then you'll go to your script and hit control V. That will put the box on your script and then you can move it to be around your stage direction. So that's the first one. So it's a stage direction. Both girls stand on opposite sides of the stage. They each mime holding a blouse under their chin, looking out as if staring at a mirror. They don't notice each other and then they make a face in the mirror. Then they both say, nah. And then we have another stage direction here. So what you'll do is, again, you're gonna control, click the box, control V, oops, sorry. Control C, just kidding, control V is to paste. And then when you get to the area you want, that's when you'll do your control V. And so remember, you wanna do that for every single stage direction you see on the page. And remember, you can adjust the size of the box to fit. So there we go. And so what you're going to do is once you have found all the stage directions on the um, on the slide, so let's look at this one for an example. And what you're going to do once you found them all, you're going to sort them. What kinds of stage directions you find? Sort them by typing them in the column that best fits. So for each stage direction, you're gonna read it. So let's do this shorter one right here. They toss the blouse away and turn center, now seeing each other. They both gasp and turn away. So we're gonna look at our stage direction and we're gonna think, does it belong with character emotions or reactions? Movement, does it have to do with the characters moving around? Or does it have to do with technical elements, lights, sound, and costumes? And so what I'm gonna do is type the stage direction. They toss the blouse away and turn center. It's telling them to turn. It's telling them um, to gasp and then turn away. So to me, that's movement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type this stage direction in the movement column. So. Let's look at it one more time. It says, they toss the blouse away and turn center. And turn center. Now seeing each other. and turn away. So what that means is, so that's my stage direction. And then now that I have that one done, 
I'll just go and look for another one. So now I'll sort this stage direction. And then I'll sort any other stage directions that I see, okay? Once you have sorted all of them and put them in their correct columns, then you are done with the assignment. Remember to look for all of the stage directions, not just the two examples that I found with you right now. Once you are done, you can close out um, the assignment because you already have it on your Google form right here. And then you'll answer your exit ticket. Name one of the things you can learn about a character when you analyze stage directions. And so for this box, you'll enter You can just pick one, um, but these are the different things that we can learn um, about our character based on stage directions, their emotions, their movement, or their background and personality. If you did not finish this assignment, like you made your copy, you worked on it, but you're still not done, that's okay. You can still turn it in. On Friday of this week, you will have a catch-up day and so you will be able to come back to this assignment and work on it a little bit more if you're not done right now. The important thing right now is to submit your daily form so that number one, I count you present for attendance. And number two, I, you will share your copy with me so that when you are done, I can grade it. So once you have answered all your questions, you've made sure that you have attached to your assignment, you will click submit, and then that's it you are done for the day. I hope this video was helpful to you all. Um, remember, if you have questions, you can always reach out to me on Google Classroom Assignments, Remind 101, Google Classroom Assignments, Google Classroom Comments, uh, my email, Remind 101 text message, or by popping in and asking questions during our live sessions during the day. That's it for today, everyone. Remember, today is a great day. You are in control of you. And every day is a great day to try your best. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.